Hello, we are here in Amsterdam and the last show is uh, ended a couple of minutes and I'm sitting here with Maria. Mm -hmm. So thank you for um, taking the time and You're welcome. please introduce yourself. Okay, so I'm uh, Maria Peters and uh, I'm a London improviser and I'm here at the festival with Ma and Pa, so that's me and uh, Pippa Evans. So it comes from Maria and Pippa. That's that, it. Uh, That's Martha. it. Yeah. <laughs> Good. We just took out the middle. Yeah. Um, yeah. And our show isn't anything to do with parents, like mom, pa. It's yeah. Just, it's just the two of us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, how was it here uh, to play in that festival cast? So great. So great. So much talent from around the world here. Uh, I mean, you've got the, the guys from Three for All, San Francisco who've been doing this for decades. Um, so it's so lovely just to, to share the space and the stage with them. And then you've got, you know, such fresh, different uh, improvisers from the Philippines, and then you've got Norway, and then, you know, Israel. It's so great, and I'm so humbled because so many of them are doing it in English as their second language, and they're still so great. Um, so it's, it's quite humbling <laughs> to be like, well, I, I'm only just doing it in my language. So, yeah, it's cool. We have some uh, or one show, especially what was your favorite or one a moment? What do you think mm. it was? Wow. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I think tonight, the final night was because it was a musical, which is something that I love. Um, and it was a musical with everyone, like the ensemble cast. We only had a couple of hours to rehearse it, just because of the nature of the festival. The schedules are so tight, and um, and we we're a bit worried that maybe it wouldn't quite work. And it's, and it did. Uh, we we just had so much fun. We were all on the same page, even though we come from very different backgrounds. Uh, yeah, I yeah. love musicals. You watched it. It was all right. The, the show was. <laughs> So great, Yay. so great, um, and it worked in a, in a lot of levels, so it was not only that the singing was good, it was uh, that the togetherness was, yeah, and we, everybody had space for something, yeah. and so... I think yeah. that was what mm. surprised us too, yeah. we were like, this is working, you can kind of see we're on stage, we're like, mm. let's keep doing this, yeah, yeah, that was probably my moment of the festival. So, yeah. Mm. And um, you say you loved uh, musicals. Do you play musicals in your uh, normal weeklies? In uh, London? Yeah. Uh, so I teach musicals. Um, I, I used to be in a musical called Music Box in London, so I'm very familiar with it. Uh, the group that I'm in at the moment is a duo, uh, which is called Breaking and Entering, and we do more Chicago-style stuff, as you know, because that's where we met. Yep at the I.O. Um, a couple of years ago. So yeah, we do that. And then I also um, do a lot of stuff with Hoopla in London. Uh, now, Hoopla is an amazing uh, school and also a comedy improv night, which welcomes all groups from around London, which is quite rare uh, because it's not just Hoopla students that can perform at this uh, place called The Miller. Everyone's welcome and uh, every Friday and Saturday night at the Millet in London, uh, there's a hoopla night. Um, I'm, uh, as of this month, starting up a uh, ladies' night, which is a, a ladies' ensemble, um, and then we'll be doing jams and stuff. So it's not ladies only, but the ensemble is all women, which is going to be quite fun. Yeah, and it's uh, sometimes rare. I mean, in Chicago, yeah. you have normally that uh, nine boys and one or two girls. Yeah, groups, sometimes. Something, and yeah. It's, in London, it's not that, or no, it's uh, actually all right. In London, um, it's funny because a lot of Americans will say, "Yeah, there's is a real difference with uh, having a lot of guys, and sometimes the girls aren't represented as well." But in London, we're really lucky, and that you know the strongest groups we have, like the Showstoppers and Ostentatious, uh, are at least fifty percent girls. Um, and, and the Maydays, at the Maydays, as well. yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. It's not, not London, but. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. They're probably even like 60 or 70 percent. <laughs> Sounds like there's loads of them. <laughs> but I think out of like the 12 or 13, there's about seven or eight girls. Um, and there's more of us, like there's duos and things that are girls. 
So we just wanted to see what it's like to do a female ensemble. Um, so we'll be doing that monthly at the Miller. Um, yeah, it's, there's so much great stuff going on in London and it's just growing and growing, which is promising. So um, how much uh, groups do you have? Um, it's a fair well, number, yeah. of, hard to say. I think this time, about five years ago, there was probably maybe 10 groups. And now, uh, at least 30, 35. Of course, the, the quality varies, but there's Monkey Toast School, which is, um, you know, it, basically there's a lot more um, structure in schools and classes now. So people are graduating and then they're putting together groups. And then places like the Miller do, you know, launch pad nights, which means that new groups can try things out. So there's a lot more stage time for people. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot of new, fresh, hungry improvisers yeah. uh, in London. We're still uh, working on, you know, getting it more well known as a uh, as a form beyond the comedy store players. Do you know the comedy store players? No. no. So basically, the <laughs> cast of Whose Line Is It Anyway? You know, like Josie yeah. Lawrence and Paul Merton and all of them. They're still doing um, the same games and stuff um, at the comedy store uh, every week, and it's great. And you know, they're brilliant at it. But of course, they're getting older, and there wasn't really people to replace them but thankfully now uh, people uh, are getting more into improv so there's a whole a bigger surge of a new generation yeah it's it's interesting because I know some groups mm -hmm. maybe from Twitter sometimes from from festivals mm -hmm. and nobody plays games or short form everybody is in long form or in puppeteria or whatever yeah. so yeah um, There's a real trend. I think there's a real Americanization <laughs> yes. uh, in London because a lot of people have taken classes with UCB instructors who have come over and Second City instructors um, promoting the Herald and, you know, long form. Uh, and it's there are some short form groups, but it's very fashionable now to be doing long form yeah, in London, which we've got to be wary of that too, that we don't lose the short form history, which we we're so good at. Yeah, mm. of course. Um, do we have plans for the next year or this, maybe this year, something? Yeah, good question. Um, well, uh, the, these festivals are great, right? And so um, with, uh, with Pepper, we might be doing a couple of other festivals, but also because that's the thing with these festivals is that people from all over Europe come and then they see and they're like, oh, can you come to our festival? So we're possibly going to be uh, doing that. But uh, in terms of back in London, my my other duo partner, Lauren, breaking and entering, uh, we're considering Edinburgh Fringe this year, which is the big festival in Scotland where you perform you know, basically every day for uh, a month, which is hardcore, but oh, <laughs> <laughs> pretty intense, but it's yeah. great. Um, and it's... Uh, You know, it's it's great in terms of really understanding who you are as a group because you're doing it every day. Um, but yeah, we're still working working that out. But uh, in terms of the London scene, it's just it's just getting bigger and bigger. So performing as much as possible with all of the new people that are coming yeah. through, which is super <laughs> exciting. Yeah, sounds mm. sounds like a plan, huh? Yeah. Okay, um, that's kind of end of my question list. Uh -huh. Great. Have you something to share? What well, other? I have to say, <laughs> if anyone ever gets a chance to come to uh, an international festival, um, even if, because it's not about the money, we know that, right? Because, you know, no one makes huge amounts of money. Uh, but if you can, then do it, because I've learned so much from just watching other people play and then also getting to play with other people from around the world. It's it's such a, an enriching experience because I'm going to take so much back to London uh, in terms of what's possible. So if anyone ever gets a chance to perform at or even visit an international festival and do it, it's worth it. Okay. Ben, thanks you. You're for welcome. <laughs> give uh, Lauren a big hug from me. I will. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> she loves you. And then we say to our viewers bye 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 <laughs> have a good night <laughs>